Hello guys, David here with news of a brand new bike from Cannondale. It's the all new Scalpel, a race focused XC bike that looks absolutely fast and is the perfect race bike for whenever racing resumes after lockdown. Let's take a closer look. Sometimes I forget why I ride and here I am drawn once more into your world to find unknowns in myself on you. I'd forgotten how much I miss you, how you feel under my wheels. Wherever I place myself, you don't know. Slow, steady, or fast, up or down. Glorious are the challenges as I navigate these shiny trails and slippery stones. Feet and body weight pushing this machine into places I can barely fit. The sound of the bell or the sound of my tires. The thunder of my climb or the roar of my descent. You accept me. That's why I ride. The Scalpel isn't a new name in the company's range. It's actually been around for nearly 20 years. I think the first model launched in 2001. And it's always been a race focused, lightweight, efficient pedaling bike, a bike designed for winning races. And it's clearly a bike that's been lined up for the Olympics, which aren't now happening this year, being pushed back to 2021. But it's still a very fast looking bike and still worth looking at if you're in the market for a short travel race focused bike this summer. There are two versions of this new scalpel available. There's a race focused version with 100 millimeters of suspension travel front and rear. And then there's a Scalpel SE, which boosts travel up to 120 millimeters front and rear. So that Scalpel SE looks a really good choice for marathon riding, Cape Epics, that sort of event, or just trail riding. If you like big adventures out in the countryside, you want that lightweight, efficient pedaling you get from a cross country race bike, but a bit more travel for a bit more comfort. You're looking at a full carbon frame with a brand new suspension design. Key to this design is saving weight. So instead of a pivot on a chainstay, they've developed a flex pivot. It's a specially shaped piece of carbon that flexes in a very controlled way. It's not a new concept. Candale used flexi carbon on the original scalpel way back in 2001 in place of the weight of pivot hardware, bearings and bolts, etc. So it's a proven concept and it works. Carbon is a wonderful material and can do amazing things and it can bend for an unlimited period of time. There's no fatigue to worry about that like you get with metals. And the amount of bending can be quite small on a bike with just four inches of suspension travel. So it's not gonna bend too much during that uh, full range of travel. So it saves weight and Candel is claiming, their claims, not mine, that the frame with a shock weighs 1900 grams, which is very impressive for this sort of bike. The rear shock is anchored to a top tube and driven by a small linkage on a seat tube with a main pivot above the bottom bracket. The frame has space for two water bottle cages and essential for a race focused bike like this. And there's now a new tall compartment inside the down tube underneath the water bottle. Now it's not a big compartment like specialized SWAT, but you can still fit a multi-tool CO2 canister and a tubeless repair tool in this space. As you probably all know, the US company likes to do things a little differently sometimes, and this bike is no exception. The new scalpel has its asymmetric integration, or AI for short, which we've seen on other bikes in the company's range. It's an offset drivetrain, which increases rear tire clearance by moving the whole drivetrain outboard by six millimeters, the crankset and the rear mech and cassette. Now it does mean the rear wheel needs to be ditched, especially the fit, so it's a small hurdle perhaps if you want to use existing wheels or easy swap wheels between different bikes, but it does offer the benefit of increased tire clearance on this sort of bike. Geometry looks fairly conservative, and here I think Candale could have been much bolder. It is 2020 after all, and we're seeing some really exciting progressive down country bikes being launched at the moment, so it could push the boat out a little bit more in this respect. But let's have a look at the numbers. So a size large has a 455 millimeter reach, which is on the short side in my opinion. 470, 480 would be better. Head angle is 68 degrees and the seat angle is 74 and a half. So the seat angle could have been a bit steeper. Head angle could have been a little bit slacker perhaps. And we've got a 436 millimeter chain stays across the board. No size specific chain stay length on this bike. 
So not the most exciting set of numbers, but um, you can't dictate how bikes can arrive based on the numbers. You need to get out on the trail and see how it actually performs. Something I can do hopefully later this year if I get a chance. There are going to be a range of different builds to suit different budgets, and I'll put a link to the Canada website down below so you can check out prices in your local region, wherever you're watching from, the US or Australia or here in the UK. The Scalpel race focused bikes will have the lefty Oco uh, distinctive one sided fork, while the SE models will have a more regular RockShox SID fork. Using the lefty fork would definitely be a divisive thing for many potential consumers of this bike. I mean, the lefty fork has been around for many, many years and it's a great piece of engineering and the Oco is the best one yet. But I still think some people might be put off. So let me know what you think of the lefty down in the comment section below. So that is a new Candel scalpel available in two versions, a range of builds, some interesting detail, some state-of-the-art tech. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Got any questions as well? Do let me know. Hopefully, I'll get my chance to ride this bike later in the year, post lockdown. It's an exciting looking bike. I can't wait to ride it to see how it performs. Hopefully it performs better than some of the numbers dictate. Uh, but that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for loads more tech reviews and bike reviews coming up. But stay safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you all again soon.